Bad dreams demand attention. This is what you can do to stop the purpose behind that bad dream that will come to you. The devil came to steal, kill, and to destroy. I must tell you, Jesus Christ came to save you, give you life, life abundantly. Okay, debunking their plans behind their dreams is very important. Make sure you pay attention to those type of dreams that is coming your way. There is a message behind it. If you are the type that do receive oppression in the night, like you want to stand up, you will not be able to stand up. Whenever you dream, you will want to stand up to fight for yourself. You won't be able to stand up, to stand up from that dream. You will be struggling to stand up. My dear, stay tuned and also do what I am about to teach you now. If you are also the type that do see, wake up and see some mark in your body, you never fought with anybody. That mark was not there before you sleep. But when you woke up from sleep, you made some marks in your body. Make sure you pay attention and also do this. This is a debunking the evil plan. You have to debunk the evil plan. This is what you can do every in the morning. It's of two types. If you dream immediately, you wake up from that sleep. Just pick up your Bible and say, Lord, I rely and depend on you. I do not have any other God except you. This is a bad dream. I do not understand it. Just quickly go straight to your kitchen. Take a cup of water. Put salt inside. Drink it. Go straight to your bedroom. Carry a bucket of water and put salt inside. Pour it in your body. Before you do this, I want you to quickly check out the miracle of Elisha in 2 Kings 19, 2 Kings 2, sorry, 2 Kings 2, 19, read it to 22. You will see what happened there. The miracle our Lord used Elisha to do in the city of Jericho with thoughts. Okay, so whatever they plan on in that dream, the mark in your body or the people, that, the spirit that came to oppress you, you just terminate their plan like seriously there is power in the name of jesus if you cannot do it that night immediately you wake up from sleep as early as five or six whenever you wake up don't talk to anybody yes because something happened in the night don't share it by greeting or shaking anyone immediately carry your cup of water put the salt inside as you are drinking it the prayer point you should do is every bad dreams program to destroy me i stop your program when you say stop it's like stop no movement anymore i stop your program by fire in the name of jesus that is the prayer you pray on the water before you drink then the prayer you will pray on the water before you use it to shower don't use soap don't use point just use that water and soap use it to shower yourself it is done the only thing that will make that dream come again and again is when you finish praying you still have the fear of that dream nothing has happened you are just still living in fear the dream will come again and again let me give you an example if you are owing someone let's assume you owe someone some money immediately you give the person the money it is done you do not owe them anymore Agreement is an agreement. So you now have the, faith, the belief that, thank God I pay my debt. I am not owing anybody anymore. That is the faith I want you to have. Whenever you immediately you finish doing this, after drinking that water and taking your bath, if you have time to do it in the night, do it in the morning, you do it, anyone. You just have to believe it is done. Let me tell you something. Let me quickly remind you this. In Proverbs 18, verse 21, the Bible have told you how powerful your tongue is so whenever you are using it you have to make sure you have the full confidence to control your heart to be connected and believe that what you have just done is done and done forever in the name of jesus that evil dream that the devil has programmed to stop your future to stop your destiny to stop you in one position in the name of jesus I stop their plan by fire. I stop their plan by fire. I stop their program by fire in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Believe 
it is done. God bless you. I will see you guys on my next video. Do not forget to share this video to help someone. Many people are living in fear of their dreams. By the grace of God, you sharing to help someone, it will go a long way. Bye-bye.